Welcome. In this session, we will continue with the CompuFast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory Extruder Module and build on the project that we worked on in the previous session. Just as a brief reminder, in this project, we had a three and a half inch extruder that was operated at 75 RPM, and the extruder achieved the following results, uh, 277 pounds per hour at a head pressure of 2,500 PSI, and a uh, bulk end temperature of about 397 degrees Fahrenheit. The graph across section showed the temperature variation, a maximum temperature of about 407 degrees Fahrenheit, and a variation due to the fact that the barrel is set at 375, the temperature difference is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, um, <clears throat> let's try and do a little bit of an optimization on the screw to try to reduce the temperature variation uh, coming out at the exit. However, what we're going to do is we're going to switch from calculate mass flow rate solution to a calculate RPM solution and determine the RPM that will give us, let's say, 300 pounds an hour as our desired output for this extruder. Now, if we run the project for the desired output of 300 pounds an hour and go to the results, we'll see that in order to achieve 300 pounds an hour, the screw speed has to be about 81.8 RPM. And again, the head pressure is 2,500 PSI, and the bulk average end temperature is 398.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and the melting end position is 20 diameters. So remember, we have a 24 to 1 screw, and the material is completely melted by about 20 diameters. Of course, we can look at the results in more detail. And for example, if we were to click on graph long, we can see how that develops. And the graph across um, also shows us a higher um, maximum temperature, leading to a temperature difference of 35 degrees, owing to the fact that we're going a little bit faster now and creating a little bit more viscous heat. We can try to reduce the amount of viscous heat by reducing the shear by modifying the screw. And the screw can be modified right within the project because all the geometry is provided in here and we have full access to it. Now, if we want to get more output at less RPM, we basically have to make the screw um, deeper in the metering section so it can pump more. So let's change the screw here from 0.2 inches to 0.25 inches. So that's about 25% uh, deeper. And notice that there's a step here in the graph. That means we have to also change the um, compression section. We'll leave the initial depth the same. and We'll just change the final depth. And so we've deepened the screw. And now with just that change, we go and we run another simulation. And we'll see that our screw speed now is reducing because the goal, again, is to achieve 300 pounds an hour. And now with the deeper metering section, we can achieve that at 72.5 RPM. Again, the same head pressure. But with the lower speed, now we have a lower melt temperature of 389 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the bulk average. But the melting endpoint has moved from 20 diameters to 21.5 diameters. In the graph along, we can see the uh, temperature rise. But on here, we can also plot, let's say, the relative unmelted amount. And we can see that the unmelted amount is coming pretty close to the end of the screw. And we have to be careful. Um, that we don't have relatively unmelted material coming out the end of the screw affecting our product quality. The graph across, if we go to the end of the screw, shows us our maximum temperature within our stream, and that's reduced down to 402.7 degrees Fahrenheit. And so the overall temperature difference range has reduced down to 27 0.6 degrees, 27.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, um, making adjustments to the geometry can have a large effect on the melt temperature and help reduce the temperature variation 
that is coming off the tip of the screw. However, there are limitations, and one of those being that we may not have sufficient blending of the material. And in subsequent sessions, we will show how we can add a mixer to our screw to ensure that we have uh, more uniform melt quality coming out of the extruder. That's all for now. Thank you.